Ripple is flipping the switch. What is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual. Make sure you smash them likes down below. And I would also like to say that in this video there is some very, very, you know, obvious information that's basically all over XRP Twitter right now. But, I want you guys to stick in for a little surprise because there is something else that I have found that I was notified about in today's stream that is not all over XRP Twitter and is quite interesting. Oh, God, there's going to be some fake information, just some bullcrap random tweet. No, on the XRP Ledger blockchain. A little something that everyone's sort of glossing over and hasn't seen yet, okay? Let's go ahead and get right into this, guys. XRP doing pretty well. Over here on the tail end of the monthly, it looks like XRP is trying to pull a three-bar play here, but this monthly candle does only have a day and 21 hours remaining. As you guys know, phase five origin cycle theory, the last final part before the massive price discovery wealth distribution expansion, um, the final part is a liquidation event, just like XRP had right here. Fellas, I'm just saying... What if this is the run? You never know. You never know. All right. Holding XRP, it's like uh, it's like spinning the slot machine 24-7. Eventually, eventually that jackpot's going to hit. All right. That jackpot is going to hit. It's like a nonstop slot machine. Okay. So let's first get into what everyone knows, what everyone's talking about on Twitter. The Ripple Stablecoin Tracker. As you guys know, uh, when the birth of this account came out, and seriously, big shout out to this guy, um... At vet underscore x zero, dude. I am honestly the fact that he made this Twitter account. It's already blowing up as it has been, um, dude. It's just literally awesome that he made this thing. Um, this is seriously a just very very nice addition to the community. So when this account first came up, which was when Ripple started issuing small amounts of RLUSD and then burning it shortly after, uh, we were seeing you know minting fifty, minting a hundred, minting ninety, burning fifty, burning ninety, burning a hundred, yada yada yada. So what happened was, a couple of days ago, September 26th, uh, we had like the biggest mint yet, which was the 5,515 RLUSD minted. Then they did that one more time. Then they did 50,000. They went 10x from that. And then they did 300,000, which was today. And then, or no, that was yesterday, my bad. Then they did 200,000, then they did 50,000, 50,000, 50,000, 100,000. I mean, dude, this is like hours ago when this has come out. So... Ripple has quite literally flipped the switch on RLUSD. Um, now, if we see, if we start seeing 50,000 burn, 50,000 burn, 100,000 burn, you know, 200,000 burn, 300,000 burn, then I would think, you know, RLUSD is probably a little further away. But if this remains unburned, I think that, you know, we're basically looking at next week, you know, RLUSD being live, okay? Another thing I want to tell you guys, okay? So, someone comes into my stream today. This is how I discovered this information. Which, again, you go all over Twitter, you're not going to find this. Alright? Comes to my stream today, and then this guy says, Yo, Cobb, I just saw Ripple minted 1.6 billion RLUSD. And I'm like, no, what are you talking about? They did not mint 1.6 billion. XRP price would have exploded to like $5 if that happened, if they suddenly minted 1.6 billion. Okay, that probably wouldn't actually happen. Maybe you get like a 20% pump. But that's besides the point. So this guy in my chat, I'm just like, dude, what do you, what do you mean 1.6 billion? Are you seeing like some scam RLUSD? Which has been a thing I want you guys to watch out for. Um, on the decentralized exchanges in the liquidity pools, do be careful. There will be malicious actors trying to get your sweet XRP or your sweet dollars into their fake RLUSD. Again, that's nothing you guys got to watch out for. So this guy keeps saying it in the chat, and I'm like, you know what? What is what? I, I start to give this guy the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, you know what? What is what is this guy talking about? What is he seeing? Is it, you know? AMM pools is I, I'm assuming just okay 1.6 billion RLUSD minted okay this guy is seeing a clear just RLUSD scam that's going on so I give this guy the benefit of the doubt I'm like hey dude where where, where are you seeing this are you a Twitter account a website a, a blockchain explorer what are you seeing it he says look go on XRP scan look up RLUSD so go to XRP scan you look up RLUSD you see this right here which is just the you know this is the regular RLUSD account Ripple issuing the RLUSD tokens okay but then, something piqued my curiosity. We have this thing down here, the RLUSD issuer, which is a separate address from the RLUSD mint address. And I'm like, wait a second. Is this where the guy's seeing the 1.6 billion? Look at this, fellas. If you add it all up, 
Okay, you see like 100 million, 333 million, 100 million, 10 million, 100 million, 100 million, 100 million, 100 million, 100 million, 100 million. These are trusts being set. So this main issuer address is setting up a trust line with the address that we are seeing this happening from. So guys, just today, we, we added it all up on stream. We did the math. Dude, Ripple issued about 1.6 billion. 1.6 billion of RLUSD trust line set. What is that? That's basically the issuer account telling the other account. I don't, I'm not the best person to explain this, but it's basically, remember how we were setting up trust lines for the meme coin airdrops and you're saying, hey, this address can give me this much of this token. That's what this is right here. I mean, good God, right there. You see a trust line being set for like 10 billion RLUSD. 10 billion RLUSD. And that just happened yesterday. Then the following day today, they're doing like 100 million, 100 million. So I'm actually incorrect on my math. Dude, the amount of trust lines that have been set from the RLUSD issuer address, dude, they're they're throwing up like 10 billion, 10 billion. Now, again, this isn't Ripple minting 10 billion RLUSD, but this is the wallet setting up trust lines of massive amounts of RLUSD over and over and over. I mean, God, just one of these things, you know, a hundred of us could freaking retire indefinitely, okay? <laughs> Maybe not that much. Maybe this whole page, definitely. But guys, I'm just saying, this is one thing that's kind of going under the radar on Twitter right now that I really wanted to show you guys. Um, let me know down in the comments below what you think this really means, because this isn't tokens being issued, but this is trust lines being set. And it's basically telling the other address or vice versa, how many RLUSD it's willing to accept or something along those lines. And then it's like, why didn't they do it in one big batch? Why are they doing it in batches of hundreds of millions and then 10 billion, 10 billion, hundred million, hundred million, hundred million. So this is a lot that's going on. So again, I imagine someone in the comments that I'll, I will pin as the top comment. I can't, I'm not the best at explaining exactly what this is, but from my understanding, it's just one wallet address telling another wallet address that, hey, you can give me this much RLUSD, right? Setting up the trust line, like how we did with the meme coins. And then again, it's also coming from, you know, these different addresses as well, from these different addresses. So all these addresses are setting up trust lines to the main issuer address. Like for example, this 10 billion, where we're, what, what, what address even is this? It's got a 70 reserve. I mean, I don't know if this is just anybody could do this technically. Um, that would kind of make sense that just anybody can create these trust lines because that is true. Anyone can create them. But I got to say, something is kind of piquing my interest here. Because these wallets confirmed Ripple? No, but it's KYC, some verified. And they're also doing Xpector trust lines. I feel like just anybody could be doing this. Um, which actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, might really be the case. But I, I don't know. I just feel like there's something going on here. I just, I feel like there's there's something going on here. More so the mints, uh, the trust lines that are being set with the main RLUSD wallet that we're seeing this from. Again, so, hmm. Yeah, I could be wrong here with my amazing information. Because these, these are wallet addresses. This just seems like, you know, one of you guys that would be like trading some coins and stuff. But what are all these trust lines being set up do these have anything to do with ripple do these have anything to do with rlusd i'm just curious as to what this is because now i'm suddenly realizing you could you could set these up 10 billion you could set these up yourself like i could i could do this right now if i wanted to but but i don't know i don't know i don't know what exactly this is but nonetheless ripple slipping the switch fellas Get ready for some RLUSD going live. Get ready for this XRP pump as we get to the tail end of the monthly chart. And, um, you know, hey, we've been through a lot of shit, but this might be the run. All right, fellas, because as we're getting to the tail end here, ah, with nine days remaining, a couple hours till eight days remaining on Monday, it's just going to be a week left. And guys, I think the appeal window closing and no appeal from the SEC might literally be our fucking catalyst it might just be it might just be our catalyst that we've been waiting for because guys if really this if it all comes around and there's no appeal and it's fully fully done i think the market is really really going to appreciate that and we're going to start getting xrp into some of these pre-dollar levels okay all right everyone that's it for the video today uh, I know this information is good the other stuff i showed you guys about the trust lines that might that might be some baloney i'm not quite sure so I'm pretty sure anyone can set these up. But uh, nonetheless, at least this, this I know this is legit. But this stuff is like, you know, 100 million trust lines over and over and over, 330 million. And they're all like the same amounts. 
Because, like, if random people were doing this, why are they all doing it, like, at the same exact amount of 100 million? So I, I don't know what's going on there. Don't know exactly what's going on there. Maybe need some further investigation. All right, fellas. That's it for the video today. Won't take up any more time. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.